If you're going to be educated, a person has to know the difference between credit and debt. And, and that's why I'm asking the demographics, because the average person is not smart enough to handle that. All money today is credit. It doesn't exist. Credit is very simply the power to spend. That's all it is. So when you have a credit card, there's no money in that thing. They've just given you the power to spend. And the moment you spend it, you create debt. And then a debt is this contractual agreement that you'll pay it back. So in 2008, when the markets crashed, they also lowered the interest rates. I thought I died and I went to heaven. Mm. That means I get my debt cheaper. Yeah. So when the markets crashed, my partners and I borrowed 300 million bucks and we bought more property. Wow. And so 10 years later, it's now, we're now five, almost 600 million in debt. We just passed half a billion but we get very rich off of debt. Right. But that takes financial education. That's why I created the cash flow board game. Yeah. Cash flow is the only board game that encourages you to use debt. Mm. If you don't know how to use debt, then follow Dave Ramsey's rule of live debt free. Yeah. I love debt and taxes. Okay. If I have real estate, I can borrow as much money as I want. And the more I borrow, the less I pay no taxes. Right. So it's not real estate. you know just debt and taxes, because money became debt or credit in 1971, and the more debt I have, the less tax I pay. Mm. It's just, I, it's, it's the law. And so, you know, people say, you can't do that. I say, no, you can't do that, but I can. Why well, create infinite returns? I don't need money. And so the moment, and that's what the financial education I went through is, I can go anywhere and make money using debt. I can use other people's money. So since I don't need money, I save gold and silver. And that's kind of my MO. And I don't touch stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs because that's amateur's money. Right. Only amateurs touch that stuff. Right. And that's why I stay out of it. Don't follow the go to school, get a job, work hard, save. See, that's hypnosis. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. And so the banks love it. They love people who borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money. And I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, do, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is, if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. Then you put it in the stock market, you know, in pensions, right? So let's say I put $100 in a pension plan. When do I get that money back? This is why I think, this is why I work, this is why I teach. You have to question what they're teaching you. Okay. So I put, I put my money in a pension. I might not ever get it back because they could lose it. So the question I always say is, well, when do I get my money back? And the average person has been hypnotized. Go to school, get a job, work hard save money, and invest in a pension, and you never get your money back. The whole thing was designed to keep you poor.